Right, yo what's going on guys loki here back at it again with another youtube video today we have the 2.3 live stream i was extremely busy yesterday with like day one raid and stuff so now we're taking a look at this i kind of want to just skim through this and go over the banners and i haven't really seen too much of firefly so i don't know i know she does she has something to do with break effect that's all i know um and then jade i'm looking to pick up as well for follow-up teams but I don't know anything about the banners. Actually, I did get spoiled a little bit. I did, I did see Ron May is on her banner, which I was right. I was right. Ron May is on her banner, but we'll talk about that in a second. Let's see this. Anything goes wrong, just blame your good buddy, Albert. Mm, in that case, check out the newest upgrade. I shall set the seas ablaze. <laughs> Hiding is much easier than being honest. Yet, I still want to try expressing my emotions as any ordinary person would. Forgotten someone, my gray-haired friend? Oh, they pressed the button! I put a bomb on this ship. <gasps> you have ten minutes to find it. Okay, Joker. What the hell? Dude, she reminds me of Ivy from Soul Calibur. I'm more than capable of keeping you on a tight leash. There's no backing up now. For me, or for you. My script isn't over yet. It's been a while. Hope has. I propose a toast. Since you care so much, beat up the countdown to the future of Pinnacle and the universe. Really? How do I interpret this as the next phase of the simulated universe? Morse SU? Correction. Whoa. It's a new subject matter that Dr. Ratio and I have personally agreed on. Ooh. Damn. Okay, that was a sick trailer. That's sick. I'm actually looking forward to it. We got. Oh, oh by the way, I have, I have Snowy here with me. Hello, Snowy. Um, <laughs> but yeah, freaking. That trailer was ridiculous. Um. We got Sparkle is like the main villain, I guess, of this of 2.3. So I'm interested in that. Um, the IPC is here for some reason. But yeah, let's see if we see. Oh, first code. First code. If you guys want to grab that. Yeah. First code. Uh, my YouTube is in the way. Hold on. Hold, hold on. Let me. Let me. Ah, ah, ah. You got to got to got to move right. Right. They'll be in the description. It's it, it's fine. It's it, it, it's it's right. no, They'll be in the description. Anyways, um, first code, and I want to see Firefly's kit. When do they start talking about it? Because I don't really know what she does. So the Trailblaze mission, farewell, Panicani, and then ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. Firefly is a member of the Stellaron Hunters and hails from Glamoth. Gotta collect them all, the like Pokemon. destroyed long ago. Glamoth? Absolutely. The same Glamoth from the Firmament Frontline Glamoth Relic Set? Oh, God. I remember the planar ornament description had a story about Glamoth's Iron Cavalry Regiment. Ah, uh, yes. yeah. Glamoth was once a rich and powerful empire with a vast territory. After the swarm invaded, everything was destroyed. Resisting the swarm called for the creation of Glamoth's Iron Cavalry. They were genetically modified soldiers, weapons that existed only to wage war. They piloted mechs to contain the swarm. I met many of those heroes and bade farewell to many. Hmm. <laughs> what stood out to me is that Sam's full name is actually Firefly Type 4 Strategic Assault Mech. Meaning that out there, between the distant celestial bodies, there could be other sands. <gasps> Ooh, imagine that. 
Are we yeah. gonna get a Sam in 3.5? We're gonna get a new Sam, Arrival of Firefly. And fireflies, myriad, Celestia, and animated short. <laughs> oh yeah, that'll be cool. I was wondering, is it really you talking when Sam says something, Firefly? Mm hmm I actually spend a lot of time practicing my Sam lines. Let me guess. <laughs> Silverwolf came up with the lines, Blade came up with the movements, and Kafka put them together. Huh? That sounds a little too professional for us. <laughs> yeah, well, speaking of professional, I think it's time we took a look at what this young lady can do in Let's her Let's see, because I am interested I'm in this character. character. Following the path of destruction. When using my technique during exploration, I summon my Sam armor. Sam can leap into the air. After landing, Sam attacks all enemies within a set range. That's pretty cool. What the fuck? That's that pretty cool. Entry. That is awesome. After using what technique to enter battle for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which lasts for a set number of turns. Fires. Oh, okay. Every Just inflicting it. Bro, inflicting fire weakness on everyone? And it's every wave, not just the first wave. Oh, every wave, every wave. Oh That's... my god. That wait, is hold sick. on. That's disgusting, bro. Without fire weakness. On you wait, wait, what? Heroic entry. After using technique to enter battle for every wave of enemies, weaknesses can be inflicted on units without fire weakness, which every wave is insane. It is In That's battle, actually nuts. Sam has two forms. In the initial form, using skill consumes HP while simultaneously regenerating ultimate energy. The lower the HP, the less damage sustained. Hmm. Oh. Are all Stellaron hunters this careless with their lives? <laughs> when using ultimate, Sam enters the second battle form, the dazzling complete combustion state. In addition to more powerful basic attacks and skills, speed is also increased. Mm. When using enhanced abilities, Sam's weakness break efficiency and weakness break damage sustained by enemies both increase. Sam restores HP with each attack. Okay. So, the complete combustion God, dude, allows look at that weakness break here. efficiency without Ron May skill That's active. No Ron May skill. I just saw that. Oh my God. Exactly. Ron May would be disgusting if she had her skin. Skill. Like, holy, that would have been a break. So, look. <laughs> The complete combustion state allows us to get Holy. a glimpse of Firefly's view from the mech. That's a determined game. Could have almost been a break. Could have been close. Enough to set the seas ablaze, I'll wager. That's so awesome. <laughs> I want to set the seas ablaze. That's so cool. A little like attention to detail you can see here, like in the corner. Complete combustion states enhanced skill not only allows for increased toughness reduction, it can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. The flame. Excuse me? What can inflict fire weakness? Enhanced skill. Oh. It can also inflict fire weakness on target enemies. The flames that that Sam emits so when she's, she's the just the AOE break insane. machine. These destruction characters need to be stopped. Why is destruction like the best in the game? Like, holy, these destruction characters are insane. What the heck? Weakness are quite spectacular. And is that a countdown icon on the action? Oh, and then also the video that we, we reacted from AJ a while back, fire has the most weakness types in the game, the most weakness type enemies in the game. So this character has more value due to that. Bar? That's right. When the countdown is up, Sam will exit the complete combustion state. It seems like the effects of Firefly's abilities all relate to weakness break. I suppose it would make most sense for Firefly to team up with allies who have weakness break efficiency buffs. Or even super or even break. Super break? Mm-hmm. That's, That's right. why Ron May's on the banner. For example, the Harmony Trailblazer. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> That's what that banner is gonna Reverse sell. Yo, look at this! Look at this! Look at here! This. The watchmaker's legacy and embarked on the brand new path. Yeah, we're gonna get another idol on too for uh, our final idol on for HMC. I'm sure. Unprecedented distances to go where none have gone before. But that's Trailblazer's idol on level. Yeah. And if I haven't had go. time to experience, Pentacle, yeah, yeah, we're gonna get that, and then oh, we get to see Jade a little bit. Another thing, what did I want to say? Um, yeah, we'll, we'll talk about the banner when they show it.
Air attack is sick, dude. Snake coming Step up the ground. Everyone's gonna be going crazy over that. Jade is a director of the IPC Strategic Investment Department and a member of the Ten Stone Arts. She is as beautiful as she is elegant. And the upcoming Radiant Fells Fire discussions are an opportunity for her to showcase her true skill. In contrast with Topaz's negotiation abilities and the Venturine's daredevil spirit, I prefer to operate behind the scenes, using emergency measures to reap a full harvest when the opportunity arises. It feels like making a deal with Jade is a risky proposition. If you ever let your guard down even a little bit, you'll never It is about to be. Let's see no exactly what she people. does. Um, let me see, 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 let me see. Let's go over her kit, because I am looking to pull for Jade. Mostly for, like, pure fiction, but... Path of Erudition. My basic attack deals blast damage to a single enemy and adjacent targets are she talking like that calm damage down dealing basic attack exactly that my skill on the other hand Buff. allows me to sign an agreement with a single ally thereby granting them enhancement and speed boost buffs okay when the signee attacks the enemy they can deal additional damage but at the expense of consuming their own hp Enhancement and making a deal with the devil. <laughs> Is that what people mean by bestowing poison in the guise of sweet dew? <laughs> now, of course, if I choose myself as the signee, the speed boost and HP consumption effects do not apply. When I or a signee launch an attack, it accumulates charges for me. Oh, when well, charges then. are full, a follow up attack There's is a follow -up. launched. Yeah. Oh, the IPCs sure enjoy a follow-up attack. Yeah, they do. I see. The damage bonus she gets. Strategic Investment Department has its own modus oh operandi. My, my ultimate, on the other hand, allows me to mete out punishment in accordance with the agreement. In addition to dealing damage to all enemies, my follow-up attack is enhanced. Okay. If there's a place that's closest to a dream. Then are the punished destined to the place that's furthest from it? Like, an abyss? This is a very interesting kit. <laughs> you don't think those places might be one and the same? When using my technique during exploration, enemies within a set range enter the blind fealty state yeah, and they will can't refrain see, huh? from attacking me. After attacking an enemy inflicted with blind fealty, other enemies in the state will enter the battle with all enemies sustaining damage. Just a single sheet of paper. <laughs> what the Signing hell? away control of your life to others is all too easy. Oh, poor Owlbert. He might be doing Jade and the IPC's bidding for a few decades more than anticipated. Wakey, wakey. I don't take kind of procrastination He's during dead, working dude. hours. But yeah, she looks like she's gonna be like a side grade to uh to um, 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 um uh, follow up attack teams. But she definitely, I definitely want to pick her up. I want to pick up her and Firefly, and I do want to pick up a Ron May Eidolon too. Like, holy bro, this banner is crazy. This is about to be the most yeah. sold banner in HSR history. Like I said that about the freaking Topaz Robin one, it was gonna be really good, and it was a really messed up banner. This is even more messed up than that banner. Ron May next to Firefly, bro. Free to play players are in shambles. If you don't have Ron May at like now, you're in shambles. You're in shambles. This is tough. This is so tough. You got to pick up Ron May first and then try to pick up Firefly. Like Ron May's value is insane. And I, I can't see her getting power crept anytime soon. She just makes the game easy. It's uh, she's so fucking broken. It's amazing. And then I ended up getting E6 Shui. But pulling more Gallagher constellations wouldn't be bad. So it's not like a horrible manner. Um, and then there's the Watchmaker. Um, but. The limited five star character. Rock. Hold on. Okay. Oh, that's a cool light cone. Why? She must yearn for. I saw that image. I don't know where it came from, but now I know. I wasn't in the uh, 2.3 beta. So, like, I, this is all new to me. Um, 
but yeah ron may's light cone crazy light cone damage bonus adds break gives you a skill point <laughs> like it's such a good light cone i was gonna make a light cone tier list i still might that light cone is like top top three in the game it's so good it's disgusting and then jade's banner argenti's returning with um her banner's ass actually holy her banner's ass it's so unfortunate Ooh. her banner's Sir Vald, like natasha. natasha and asta that is a that's a tragic banner that is a horrible banner yikes this game needs more like new four stars i feel like because i see so there's just so many like repeats hmm i i wonder like financially if they would if they should have just swapped the four stars in the banner because this is not this is, this is not going to sell that well like jade's cool jade's awesome i'm i personally want to pull for jade but i don't see that banner selling that well or light cone it's really really cool okay it has a gentle side I'm not sure what it does though we'll go over that whenever they release it my heart isn't actually made of stone you know and finally the brand new four star light cone after the charmony fall ear edition okay so this looks like it's gonna be a light a four star light cone for her so you don't have to pull her like her five star light cone um i wonder where mr sunday is right now not sure what it does but it is ear edition so that looks like it'll be an option another redemption code we'll put that in the description for you guys and then divergent universe aside from the simulated universe grillium has also created a new branch uh so that's just a standalone event huh yeah standalone topic let's see what they, more of a they're talking about human focus bingo that's the main research thrust of this phase of the simulated universe Looks like this project will be conducted on the Radiant Feldspar. Minga number two, let me tell you a little more about it. First up, a groundbreaking update to the Divergent Universe, the arithmetic mapping function. In the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can switch between characters they already possess. Huh, so they can create their own lineups? Precisely. Hmm. When testing the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers will no longer be limited by character downloads. When character level is lower oh, okay. than the current equilibrium level cap, it will automatically increase to meet the cap. Meaning, that is fucking if nice. one of my That's characters is level change. one, but I use them in the Divergent Universe, it increases to a set level? You got it! So handy! But... What if a character has the level, but no suitable relics or light cones? Yeah. <laughs> We're not. In that situation, temporary light cones and relics at the current equilibrium level cap will be automatically assigned. What? Wow. Wow. Oh, new artifact set. They blurred it out, but this is that potential break effect set that might ignore defense. I don't know. I don't know. I just heard that on the street somewhere. Some random guy named Bob. I have no idea, bro. But potentially this might be that set. This is, the, and then we see this two piece. I have no idea what the two piece does. I wasn't part of the 2.3 beta, but this new four piece looking like it's about to be crazy. Potentially, that's what word on the street. But yeah. Um, upgrading your traces for you is so Upgrading nice. your traces for you is crazy, bro. And then giving you relics. It's, they're probably gonna be dog shit sats, uh, but at least dude. it's something if you don't have a character built, you know. So that's cool, because now, now, like, let's say you need like a shielder and you don't have your shielder built, you or or let's say you don't have Japard built, they will give you relics for preservation and they will fill out your traces for you. Like, well, depending on the difficulty of this, you might need a shielder, but like, yeah, that's really really cool. That's that's crazy. That's actually nuts. Or if you need like a certain element. Like for instance, my boot hill is not really built that well. I can project stats onto him. It'll it'll level my traces and throw some artifacts onto him. Boom, he's ready to go. That's that's nuts. That's nuts. I like that. That would be cool if that was added to the normal simulated universe as well, like the golden gears and the ever changing uh, swarm disaster, all that stuff. But like, that's that that's super dope. I like that. Um, Let's see what these blessings now, are talking about. Overlook Dr. Ratio's new brainwave equation, a buff combination of two different paths. Okay. Oh, oh I heard about this. I heard about this actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So a buff combination of two different paths. You got Nihility here. I think. I think that's a. Is that abundance? I can't. I can't tell. Um, 
it's so small on my screen. But yeah, ear, yeah, erudition combined with destruction. Okay, we don't know what they do because it's all blocked out, Every but. Test. Trailblazers have the opportunity to select a random equation. And for the equation to take effect, you'll need different amounts of path blessings. Once the required amount has been achieved, the equation will activate and the team can obtain the corresponding combat abilities. Equation has a max of three stars. I see. That's so, so cool. The higher an equation star yes. level, the more blessings are needed to activate. What was the damage? Oh what was the damage? Was, what are these percentages? How much they how much HP they have left? Is that a quality of life or is that just only for this game mode, I wonder? Wait, no, that's not HP they have left. What is that? That's gotta be like a new blessing or something. Interesting. Dude, what was that Higher damage? That's that's looking like some level, like whatever the, the current game type is now. What the hello? Needed to activate it? You nailed it. And to speed things up, the geniuses have kindly marked the required path blessings for each equation in Trailblazer's possession. Knowing which blessings can activate an equation is easy as pie. That's so considerate. If you're ever struggling to choose, just follow the mark. Adapting your choices to suit your equation allows you to cater the effects to your current team. Mm, it works both ways. You could adjust your team's Oh, yeah, she smokes Argenti. Equation. I want to see Trailblazers. Mix oh, that's really cool. Oh my that's god. That's super dope. I accidentally chose that reminds me of the one hunt lesson. one, but more or concentrated. If I want to switch my current equation. Can I make a change? Of course. By oh. visiting the workbench of creation, Trailblazers can overwrite their existing equation and switch it out for another. At, at least they have a home because Ron May is, is definitely not taking care of them. She does not care. The blessings can also be switched out for other blessings or even enhanced. Huh? So they're basically I'm the Herda? The added more the... purchasable items? Oh, oh, cool. Am I hallucinating? Did Madame Herta really lower the prices? The curio system has been upgraded. In addition to Ooh, normal these are new. Trailblazers can also choose from weighted curios. These curios are more suited to characters of specific paths or types and really elevate the combat experience. Keep your eyes peeled, Trailblazers. Separately, we should also take a look at the new. wealth and escapade domains of the Divergent Universe. Trailblazers can win different prizes in these domains by spending cosmic fragments. But beware, in the event of a program error, your cosmic fragments could Ooh, be wasted. Ooh, ga gamba. gamba. More gamba. Negative curios. Wow. Oh my god. Imagine if you have a venture and you just auto win. Luck like passive. Is an important component. It sure is. Now, allow me to introduce an impressive optimization that left a big impression on your buddy, Albert. When suffering defeat in the simulated universe, Trailblazers no longer need to you, force stop the game. You don't need all that for, force stop the game. <laughs> now allows for restart challenge and Trailblazers oh can select a nice. new so lineup. Oh man, that's incredible. Oh, wow. You're not you're not restricted to the same After team. Completing each test in the Divergent Universe, Trailblazers can acquire synchronicity points and inspiration, allowing them to activate the buff nodes and inspiration circuits. Testing the simulated universe just got a little bit easier. Wow. Thanks for all the info, Albert. It's just didn't you forget something important? What about the planar ornaments? Here we go. I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> the planar ornament extraction function has arrived. Every time Trailblazers clear the Divergent Universe, they can choose to save a record of that challenge and archive the data of the equation, blessings, and curios in question. Choose the planar ornament you want, use the archive, inherit the data and buffs from the archive, challenge the boss enemy, and obtain So you can go straight to the reward. boss. You basically just go straight huh? to the boss. That's what he said with your you same buffs. Mean, you can skip ahead? That's crazy. You just need to defeat that the is, boss to get quick access to the planar ornament? <laughs> that is amazing. Are we sure this isn't some cracked version of the simulated universe that Silverwolf put out there? That's hilarious. Shh, keep it down! The last person to doubt the Genie Society lost 76 accounts. A brand new simulated universe. <laughs> I don't know Sounds what this does, but try. that's new. Amen to that. <laughs> now, in version 2.3, 
The Divergent Universe it's, they're, gonna, they're not going to talk about it, huh? They're not going to talk about it. I need to know what it does. Dynasty of Running Wolves and Forge of the Tall what does it do? Lantern. Make sure to use the new Planet no. Extraction Function to get a hold. After experiencing ordinary extrapolation, the Divergent Universe Wait a minute. will have a weekly cyclical extrapolation objective. Are we? By completing this weekly challenge, Trailblazers can obtain a first-time completion reward, as well as additional synchronicity points. Not to mention, in order to celebrate the arrival of the Divergent Universe, man That's new. I can't tell what that is. But that's new. Hold on. Nihility, preservation, destruction, hunt. What's missing? Abundance? That's new. Okay. Adam Herder has added the five star erudition light code. Oh, it's erudition. Oh, there we go. That's a probably good for Jay, too. Better start reserving some Herder bonds. It sounds like the level of freedom in the divergent universe is really high. Faster access to planar ornaments, full choice of characters. Those are some big gameplay improvements. Big improvements indeed. In the vastness of the universe, the eons are beyond our reach. Humanity must learn to rise from its falls and strike its own path. When gazing up at the stars, it's important to keep your feet planted firmly on the ground. The stories in Divergent Universe, the human comedy, may seem small, but that does not make them insignificant. Trailblazers, get exploring. I can't wait to experience those stories. That is so cool. S Simulate Universe is like one of my favorite game types. And then we're going to talk Ooh, about Apocalyptic, Apocalyptic Shadow. Shadow. Let's they go. wish to seek traces of the shapeless prince and the experiences of your deadly struggle. Unlock the brand new permanent challenge mode, Apocalyptic Shadow, in Dream Flux Reef, and experience those past dreamscapes. Creed Exequy. Is this the first appearance of this faction of the Finality? Not necessarily. A new permanent challenge mode? So, what's different? <laughs> In Apocalyptic Shadow, Trailblazers will challenge boss enemies that they have encountered in their journey. Every phase has two enemies, which are split into four levels of challenge difficulty. The enemies in Apocalyptic Shadow are a little different to regular boss enemies. In preparation for the fight, Trailblazers can read the enemy's traits at the start of the battle. As with other permanent game modes, during the challenge, there are buff effects for Trailblazers to choose from for every boss. Make sure you maximize the advantages of your lineup. Defeating enemies through team adjustments or by exploring different battle strategies makes for a richer combat experience. Trailblazers can record a maximum of three floors of three-star quick clearances. That's right! And after the first time clearance of Apocalyptic Shadows <laughs> set... I get... 20 freaking material to pull again because i already have e6 jade but this is cool the artifact crafter with the 300 um jades cool we'll take that that's dope uh so apocalyptic shadow has it's like i think it's like apocalyptic shadow pure fiction maria chaos yeah so june july this is scheduled all the way until september okay so that's cool uh after the version 2.3 update Okay, yeah, it goes until August 5th. Okay. Well, that's dope. What is this? What am I looking at here? Oh, is that just first time clear? Yeah. 800. First time this... clear. Wait, what is this? The maximum. Oh, oh they're yeah, increasing everything from 720 to 800. So, yeah, everything's going to be 800 now. So, we're getting a little bit extra. origami bird clash uh just an event stellar shimmer an event and there's our final code which will be in the description if you guys want to pick that up but i believe that is it um and then trace materials for jade specifically so yeah that's it for that that 2.3 is looking pretty good actually like i thought 2.3 was going to be kind of filler low-key but i think after seeing that <laughs> I've seen the drip marketing for 2.4. I think 2.4 is probably gonna be a filler, but I mean, yeah, 2. I'm excited for story low key for uh, 
the Secret Sparkles getting into. And then there's just so much content. We have, God, there's so much to play. We got Wuwa to play. I got like Destiny stuff to do still. I got this game. Oh my God, it's so much stuff, bro. I don't know. What do you think about the update? You think it's gonna be a good update? I think it's gonna, it's gonna be an amazing update. Yeah. I don't even know what to do anymore. There's so much shit to do. <laughs> it's insane, to make it again. bro. I want, I want Firefly. Jade, I might skip. Yeah. Might. Who knows? But Firefly is a definite pickup for me. I need her. Dude. It's awesome. Hey, I'm going to try to pick up Firefly. Um, a Ron May comp at E1 wouldn't be bad. Like, oh, yeah. Holy, I also need Ron May Cone. Oh, oh, yeah. I Ron May Cone. I missed out on it. I got the ratio cone instead of her yeah god ron may and her like cone might spend a little nuts. bit of money <laughs> dude <laughs> that first banner oh I, it's gonna be one of the most selling banners of all time i like if you don't have ron may i you should be picking up ron may 100 percent. that character's insane she's absolutely nuts and she makes everything in this game just significantly easier due to weakness break efficiency she kind of acts as a sustain because she delays the enemy and then also on her ult she gets she gives a res pen which makes you do more damage like oh my gosh and her light cone gives you a damage boost like she's nuts yeah but leave a like comment subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video i'll see you guys on the next one peace bye bye